Wow, did you guys enjoy that intro? Let me know in the comment section below how you liked the intro because from this video on, I will be using it and I think it's pretty cool in my opinion. I spent a long time working on it, so hope you enjoyed it. But anyways guys, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today, we will be taking a look at XOS Rocket Racing Steve LePage. So, let's get on to the packaging. There's his nice Carter, he's zooming through the moon. Um, no, I'm just kidding, he's probably zooming on a road, I would assume. With some mountain tints in the background. Those flames are very big, they look nothing like that, but they're like so much bigger for some reason. We have the car's logo and the Rocket Racing logo as well. In the top left hand corner, we have the warning, because there was a blast wall, so that's pitch stop area, and they could be easily be swallowed by somebody if they're not careful. There we have Steve's liquid page with blast wall. Getting a little face reveal though. My god, that package is very reflective. But yeah, you can try this moving flames feature in the package because these the flames do move on these. See on the other one? Yeah, the other one does move. Very nice. You can actually see that it does show you like how the flames move. I believe they move clockwise, I do believe, or anti-clockwise. This has my way for the name tag. On the back, we have Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, Cam Spinner, and Paul Conrad, all with blast walls. And I, ironically, these four are some of my favorites, favorites of the line. So, hopefully, I get all of them soon, especially McQueen and Paul, because Black and McQueen is really awesome, and Paul is Paul. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with Paul Conrad. We have the XLS logo and the Cars logo on the back again, same thing on the front. And we, we have XLS and a bunch of other languages and the warning symbol and a bunch of other languages too. Now I do believe there used to be a description for this series, but unfortunately they got rid of it with Paul and Cam when, when they were released. When these three got reissued, as well as Paul and Cam, they um, got rid of the description, which is very disappointing. Made in Vietnam, so yes, this is my first made in Vietnam call I've gotten. Everything else has been mostly China or Thailand, which is kind of like, kind of how I like to stick with it, although I don't mind this one because it doesn't have the eye line, it looks, looks like a China call. And so before we open up Steve, I know you'll be asking, Carl Clutchin, why did you change the background of your video so drastically? Why did it change? And I will explain it in the end of the video because there's actually some channel updates I need to talk about regarding my channel going forward. Especially since, since school is starting for me this week, I do want to talk about some things. But anyways, I'll be right back with Steve's LePage all opened up. Alright, so here is XOS Rocket Racing Steve LePage all opened up, looking pretty cool. But I gotta say, before we go on to the appearance of this guy, like, I swear, this is literally the shortest name tag that I've ever seen in my life. Not lying. I mean, just look how small that is, dang. But anyways, Steve, well, the regular Steve, appeared in Cars 3 as the next and trunk first racer, who replaced Dirk San Diego Stino, who was the Cars 3 and Cars 1 Pacific Cup racer. So, poor Dirk Singh got kicked out after, like, 11 years of racing, but that's just the natural progress of the racers. Now, this version of Steve never appeared in a movie. There's no book or really any sh shorts to connect the series. It's just literally like Mattel's imagination that they've been using. And I know a lot of people are on the fan of the Rocket Racers and Expanded Universe series, and I do agree. I mean, I understand why people hate them because there's money grabs, and I definitely prefer new characters, but... The Rocky Racers line is actually very nice. I love the um, the fact they have no spoilers, the flames are a pretty nice addition, and the um, paint scheme is also pretty good. So, that's pretty much it. Now, quick disclaimer, I do not have the regular Steve page. He's pretty rare right now. He's only in the next gen 4 pack. He hasn't got a re-released since that pack, so hopefully it gets released down the line. I know there's a mini race to have, but that's super duper rare, so yeah, I really don't have anything to compare Steve with, except for, for the other Trunk First Racers. But hopefully you also enjoy this with you. Let's get on to the blast wall first. So as you can see we have the XOS the logo zooming by. Looks like it's going super duper fast. 34 on this side to match Steve's 34. Would have been nice if they had some foil on it, like they they would Steve here. And the the um green and white checkerboard design, which does match Steve a lot. And I think this is a sticker, yeah, unfortunately this is a sticker, whereas the old pit stop areas, I think, 
Yeah, Dirksen himself. I think he actually got a pit stop barrier. I think that was like, a decal. But he was just more of a sticker decal, which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Besides, here is literally nothing. The base here is hollow. So yeah, not very... Like, it doesn't have that much details, but it's still nice to get accessories like this. Now let's get on to Steve, who I'm sure you all want to see, so I will happily show, happily show it for you. So I cannot speak today. <laughs> so first of all, I love the expression. He just looks like he's not going to take anybody's crap, which is pretty, pretty nice. We have the XLS logo on the hood, and we also have the, the XLS logo here, slash S slip. Which is basically Steve Slick Page's initials. I do love the name though, Slip. Looks very slick. <laughs> See what I did there? <sighs> I'll try to refrain from those jokes. But anyways, we have the headlights and the grill. Which is pretty nice. We have a green bumper, which is kind of interesting. It's a light green bumper. If my camera will focus. The camera wants to focus on the pit stop area. Okay. Yeah, there we go. On the sides here, we have the front tires. With green light year text, which are the next gen font. Then we have the um, insides of the rooms, which are actually colored green. So they didn't leave that silver like the uh, rest of the wheel. And these are um, plated up because obviously you're going at high speed. You don't want the wheel to get damaged. We have XRS 34. And I love this foil on him. Like, I know Regular Steve has a ton of foil. But here I actually think it looks pretty nice. Unfortunately, it's not the best. As you can see, it's... Crinkling a little bit, it's a little flaky, but I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, I do understand, like, it's not gonna be perfect, but I think it actually looks pretty decent. In the package, I was like, oh boy, it looks terrible, but here, it actually doesn't look too bad. We have, I believe, the sponsors down there, which are Piston Cup, Carbon Cyber, Synergy, and Combustor, which is way different from the usual. Um, way they usually do the sponsors. Like, I have a next gen here on hand. I have right inside Lenny, I pulled him out. But yeah, he has, it's supposed to be Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, they actually switched up the, the order of the sponsors, which is pretty weird. Don't know why they did that, but oh well. Not a big deal. We have the XLS slip on the side. And on this side too, it's in the foil font, which I really like. We have number 34 on the top in that foil pin. Now, unfortunately, yeah, mine got a little chipped, so that's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. We have the windows, which are plated up. This little fin here, which says trunk fresh. Oh my, that's really messed up, though. Let's see if you can see it on the other side. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little better here, but this, I don't know why that side has got crinkled. Oh my god, this looks terrible. God, but anyways, we have these things, I don't know what those are all for, and then you have the flames, which do spin. We'll test that feature really quickly. Oh, for some reason, this flame's like not going all the way, like, when it will, yeah, the, this left one is like stopping, this one's going, but, um, this one is, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Now, this one doesn't want to turn, but it looks pretty good. Looks pretty decently. On the back, we have number 34 and XLS a slip on that foil paint, which is pretty nice. This side's the same. And there is the base. Made in Vietnam. So, like I said, my first Vietnam call. We have the Vietnam date stamp, which I do not know how to read. Turn date steps are way easier. And you can see actually here on the base, the front tires are just regular. They don't have anything to do with the flames. But here, you can see they have these little spokes. So, when you roll it around, the flames, like, spin around as well, as you can tell. Like, one revolution per minute. So, that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for Steve LePage XLS Edition. I think he's a very nice rocket racer. He's one of my favorites. If only the foil was a little better applied, maybe I would have liked him more, but oh well. And now, let's compare him to the other Trunk Fresh members. We have... Cross Reduxing, which I have reviewed, so I will link that in the description below, or you can search it up on my channel. And yes, while I compare them, I do want to talk about my some channel updates. So, school. I know a lot of you have been asking why have I changed the background, like, it, it never used to be this way. Well, um, the place where I used to record, which is, I'll move the camera here, 
This is what I used to record. Excuse the mess, I will clean it up later. But yeah, I'm gonna be using that area pretty much for my online school, which is starting pretty soon, actually. So I'm a little worried of how it'll go since, um, you know, the virus and stuff. But I think I should be able to get through it just fine. And yeah, that's why I had to move everything over here. And since I couldn't really have any of that at over there, since. It'll be attracting, I just wanted to focus on school a little bit more. So yeah, it's cause reduction. And also, he was cause one reduction, by the way. I only have him in the box right now. I don't have him open. But we prepare the decals. And I do believe that's all I want to talk about, I think. Yeah, so I changed it. I mean, I was like, well, I thought it was time for a change, because I'm sure you all were getting tired of me recording in that same spot over and over again. <laughs> yeah, they do look kind of cool, though. I will be reviewing this Dirksen, so once I review, open up Dirksen from Cars 1, I'll compare him to Steve and the Cars 3 version. But for now, he's staying in the box. But anyways, guys, that about does it for this review. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Cole Clutchin, signing out. Cue the outro.